Hey everyone, Nicole here from Roto Grinders with another video tutorial of Lineup Headquarters. In this episode, we're going to walk through bulk uploading and editing of lineups in DraftKings. So let's start out in Lineup Headquarters. We've got an NBA slate here. I've set up the build rules to build 20 lineups, and I've given some of these players exposure so that I can generate lineups. So once you have your player pool all figured out, and you've built your lineups, and you go through and take a look at them, and once this is all set up and you're happy with your lineups, you can hit the Export Lineups to CSV button here. That's going to generate this CSV file. When we look at that, you'll see 20 lines here. Each player and player ID for each lineup is shown. So we're going to take this and add it to DraftKings. You go into DraftKings. I'm on the My Lineups page here. You're going to upload your new lineups. Come over to the Upload Lineups section and click the Upload CSV. And take the most recent one I generated here, open it up, and DraftKings tells us we successfully uploaded those 20 lineups. So you can hit View Lineups if you'd like. It's going to show them all listed here. Now what you can do, since they're not in any contest yet, you can go into the lobby. Find a 20 entry max here. Hit enter. And you can go down, enter all 20 selected lineups for $80 right here. And there we go. Now we've entered all of those lineups. Now let's say you're going to come back later and have to make adjustments to those lineups. So if we go into lineup headquarters, change a few things around if we removed Ben Simmons Jokic entirely from the player pool and change some exposures here and we built 20 new lineups export those to CSV now this time we go into the DraftKings My Lineups page, we can edit those lineups. So we're going to edit our entries here. First, you're going to download your existing entries for NBA. This is the classic style. Download that file. We're going to open it up, and we're going to write over our existing lineup entries with the file we just generated right here in lineup headquarters. So we're going to open this one up as well. You're going to copy these lineups, just the players and the player IDs, from our new CSV. Go back into our DK entries, come over to the point guard slot right here that matches up, paste them in. We're going to save our changes. Let's close that out. And now we're going to upload our new CSV file that is called DK entries. So here it is. Now we've successfully uploaded those 20, so when we go back and look at my lineups, it's kind of messy since I generated a bunch of other new lineups earlier, but here are the upcoming entries we have, and you'll notice there are the Lonzo Ball entries that we started with. So that's how you can upload and edit again and again. You can repeat this process as many times as you need to to change your entries. Now, if we took a couple of these other lineups that I had built and we joined a contest with them, let's load this lineup and join a contest. So 
So it's in a different four point play. If we did that with one more line up here, We now will have 22 entries that we could edit. So if we took our existing CSV, we can click Edit Entries again. And now you'll notice with NBA we have 22 entries that are editable. So we download this and open it up. You could take your two favorite teams, let's say we took our two highest scoring teams out of our list of 20 lineups we generated in lineup headquarters here, and we can copy those into the other $4 contest that we just joined. You can expand out this contest name to see what you're in, but notice since I did four point play on all of them, the contest ID for the first one is different than these last two slots right here. So that's where I want to paste those two individual lineups. So just because you're bulk editing lineups doesn't mean you know you can't go in and just edit a few at a time or paste your favorite lineup into multiple contests. You just pay attention to the contest name and that's how you can do that. So if we edited that and then saved it again, we're on DK Entries 1 now, we could come back over and overwrite our lineups again by clicking Upload CSV and taking our new file and now we have changed those 22 lineups we really only changed two of those 22 but everything got overwritten with the new CSV file now in the my lineups page so that's how you go about entering a whole bunch of lineups in lineup headquarters and then editing them throughout the day on DraftKings I hope this was helpful and thanks for watching Hey everyone it's Dan Bach of Roto Grinders here to remind you about a great new addition we have to our browser extensions for FanDuel and on DraftKings. If you haven't used it already and you're a premium member, right now you can get the ownership projections and our projected fantasy points right there on the screen while you build your lineups. Again, this is exclusive for people who are premium subscribers at Roto Grinders, and it's making your experience of building lineups that much easier on the two big sites. Also on DraftKings, we've recently added the feature of being able to do that on the My Lineups page as well. So check it out if you haven't done so. It's free to get these browser extensions, but to get the premium add-ons, make sure you're a Roto-Grinders premium subscriber.